So we're going to give you a scary, unbalanced equation. You're going to cut it into two ugly half equations that aren't balanced. And then from there, you're going to try and tidy things up, adding water where needed, and acid where needed, and definitely some electrons to balance everything out. And once you balance the electrons, you've got two nice half equations. Then you're going to bring those back together again. Wow. Let's try some real examples. Alrighty, so there's no way you can just balance this equation. There's oxygens on the reactant side and no oxygen on the product side. So adding coefficients, one, two, half, it's never going to work. So this will only work if you balance it in what's called acidic solution. So you have to follow the rules here and it will all work out. So the first thing you have to do is you have to split uh, the equation into two half equations. So split into two half equations. So this turns into that, and that turns into that. So it'll always be an obvious split like that. The second thing uh, you have to do is do any obvious balancing. So do any obvious balancing. This is the step that most people miss out. The obvious balancing to do here is there's two chromiums on the reactants and only one on the products. So I need to put a two there. Nothing I can really do down here. Okay, and now for three, you have to add in order as needed, water, H plus, and then electrons. Because after all, you are balancing in acidic solution acidic solution and the electrons are messed up too we have to fix those so looking at the top equation I've got seven oxygens here and none there now I can't just add O7 that doesn't exist I can't add seven O's that doesn't no 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 the only thing you can add is water H plus and then electrons so I'm going to add seven water molecules. Now I've fixed the oxygens. Next up, well I've messed up hydrogens now. So I have 14 hydrogens here, 7 H2s. So I'm going to add 14 H pluses on this side. It has to be H plus, it's acidic solution. H plus is, is acid. Now I have to balance the charge. So an equation, the charge has to be the same on both sides. So over here I've got minus 2, Plus one, plus one, plus one. Minus two plus 14. So overall, the charge on this side is plus 12. And on this side, well, I've got two plus threes, and that's neutral. So on this side, the overall charge is plus six. So it may look like it's balanced, but it just isn't, because although the atoms are balanced, for, uh, two chromiums, two chromiums, seven oxygens, seven oxygens, 14 hydrogens, 14 hydrogens, the charges are not. So I'm going to need to add six electrons to balance the charge. So if I add six electrons to this side, ah, now if this is no longer plus 12, this side is plus six. So this is now a balanced half equation. The second one is definitely easier. No need to mess around with water or H plus ions, but I do need an electron. The electron goes this side. Before I've even worked it out, I know it must go here because the electrons in the half equations have to be on opposite sides, otherwise you've done it wrong. This is reduction. Reduction is gain of electrons. And this is oxidation. Oxidation is loss of electrons. You can't really have reduction without oxidation. The charge on this is plus 2, and now over here it's plus 3, minus 1, it's plus 2 here. So we have our two half equations. But we've still got a problem. This acidified dichromate needs six electrons. 
but this iron 2 to iron 3 only produces one electron. So I can't add these equations back together again. The electrons have to be the same. So I've got, so if I need six, I have to generate six. So this entire thing has to be multiplied by six. Six, six, six. Oh, number the beast. So step number four is you have to multiply the half equations to get equal electrons. And so the fifth step, well, what did we do there? We combined and cancelled. What can I cancel? Well, I've got six electrons on this side, six electrons on that side. Okay, so that is the first equation balanced. Double check, overall the charge on this side is two minus plus 14 plus 6 times 2 plus, that's plus 24 on this side, and over here, 2, 3 plus is a 6 plus, and 3 is 20, that's plus 24, so the charge is balanced, and a quick check, are all the atoms the same, 2 chromiums, 2 chromiums, hydrogens are good, oxygens, and the iron, okay, so that's the first one done. Alrighty, again, this needs to be balanced in acidic solution. So split them into two half equations. So it seems obvious that these two go together and those two goes together. Any obvious balancing? No, not really. Normally the obvious balancing is a cheeky two somewhere, but no, there's nothing. One manganese, one manganese, one sulfur, one sulfur, and I'm going to fix the hydrogens and oxygens in a second. All right, add water. Add H+, plus, add electrons. So adding water first of all, there's four oxygens on this side, so I'm going to need to add four water molecules. Now I've messed up the hydrogens. There's eight hydrogens on this side. So I'm going to add eight H pluses on that side. Now I've fixed the hydrogens. Ah, but I bet the charges are wrong. Well, I hope they're wrong. Uh, but now I bet the charges are not the same. They shouldn't be. If they are the same, then you've messed up. So this is minus one, plus eight. So overall, this has a charge of plus seven. And on this side, it's plus two and nothing else. So this has a charge of plus two. So I'm going to need five electrons to make this work. Five negative electrons. So they're going to go on this side. All righty. So now this is no longer plus seven. I've taken five off that plus two. That half equation's correct. The next one, this uh, sulfurous acid to sulfate. Where am I going to put the water? Water. So three oxygens, four oxygens. So I'm going to need to pop a water down here. Now the hydrogens are messed up. One, two, three, four. So I've got four H pluses. I fixed the hydrogens, but now the charges are all out as well. Well, this is neutral. And this is minus two, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. So this has a charge of zero overall, and this has a charge of plus two. So I'm going to need to add two electrons. Two electrons. Let's just double check. The electrons are on opposite sides of the two half equations, so that looks good. So multiply the half equations to get equal electrons. Alrighty, 
So I'm going to double this equation and I'm going to pentuple that equation. Whew, it's going to get messy. OK, let's put this together. So I'm going to double these and pentuple those and put them together. Alrighty, so I've combined them, and now let's do some cancelling. Ten electrons are going with these ten electrons, uh, but we've still got a little bit more work to do. I've got five waters and eight waters. So if I take five waters off of each side, okay, five off of that, that leaves me with three waters here. And we've still got H pluses on both sides, so I can cancel that. If I take 16 H pluses off of each side, so let's just check if it's balanced finally. I've got two manganese, two manganese. I've got 8 plus 15. I've got 23 oxygen here, and I've got 23 oxygen there, 10 hydrogen, 6 and 4, 10 hydrogens, 5 sulfurs on both sides. So far, so good. And overall, the charge on this is 2 minus. And on this side, it's 4 plus 4, that's plus 8 minus 10, it's 2 minus. So this is indeed balanced in acidic solution. Oof. Okay, so following is a couple more to try with the answers.